Siin on kõik lahti, nii et küll mõhk läheb sisse loomulikult. Ma soovin teile kõigile rahulik jõule. Ma kuulen siin raudada kolinat ja meeste rääkimist ja õdede nutmist. Need ei ole õnnelikud hääled. Uurige teisi videosid, mida ma olen kokku pannud suurtanu teile. Hello, my name is Jano. Uh, I've been working in the uh, dairy industry. Dairy industry. Yeah. And uh, the message what I want to tell people that uh, the way how the one, let's say, cow ends is in sojas. Uh huh. How the how the cow is not function properly, so the liver, the, the liver is not gonna hand it like they, they leave three or four years, not more. Mm. See, it's that through the 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 boosting the um, producing of the milk as far as like 90 liters per day. 90 liters per day yeah, per one cow. Per one cow. They milk them like three times, four times in the day, and uh, it's. Uh, the record is like 90 liters per day and after that the cow's liver is weak and the cow will send, be sent to like uh, for uh, making the meat taking the meat so they collect them they just heat them on the cars uh, in the here close to Latvia border is a big uh, how you say killing house or slaughterhouse, slaughterhouse yeah. near the Latvian border and uh, they all collect them there. It's like 1,000 cows standing, waiting for the killing. And um, in one moment they killed. And you just can imagine how big is a uh, stress hormone level in this meat. What you get when you buy the soldiers or from the shop. What is the uh, level of the stress hormone in this meat? Oh my goodness. So, and you will eat it. So they, uh, from the morning when you used to put the cows on the transportation, what kind of a man picked it up, well, this they animal? Like just, uh, how to say, the killers, they don't care for anything. They just uh, hit them on the car, you know. They are like uh, electric shock uh, straws and uh, it's awful. Yeah. And then the cow is already knowing that they when it. They know what is what's gonna happen. You know? And no, no, nobody, nobody comes back, so they already know when this car came. When this, this her uh, voice is uh, here, so this is bad. You're. Uh, I really appreciate you saying this, Yano. You stopped doing that business. You used to deal with the bulls as well, bulls and cows, yeah. 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 And the calves, the baby calves. Yeah. And because you, you, you're. Um, you know how to uh, help a cow to give birth and turn the calve around, yeah? Yeah, I don't did all the works, uh, what comes around it, so, uh, yeah. So the cow is uh, put on, on, and this man looked like a psycho always when he came shouting to get the, the animals. Well, it fits, uh, you can imagine, he fits to the profile for this job. He's the, he, he, this is man, this is a man. So he's he, no, like, uh, no IQ, no just a uh, lot of anger and um, he, don't, he doesn't care. He's like just, a psycho? Well, he's like a psycho, yeah. Like you wouldn't leave your child around that man? Of course, no. You wouldn't leave, you would know that that man wouldn't have a problem killing your child as well? Oh, yeah, definitely. And... Uh, <clears throat> drive, while but... drive, so they're all in the car and no truck. So uh, all pushed together, so no space to move, they just stand all the way. Then they go to there, there is a collect, uh, collecting uh, gates, areas, 
and they put them all together and they just stand there and wait and the capacity of this slaughterhouse I heard it's uh, almost a thousand uh, thousand souls thousand cows in the day so it's a uh, huge they have uh, ovens where they uh, burn all the wastes and yeah. stuff so this is a big industry but the meaning is that you know if you eat this meat the stress level of this animal is like crazy she is wants she wants to die but she's afraid of totally you, know, you, you can imagine that total panic total panic so boiling uh, boiling blood the adrenochrome yeah, you can, you can, mm -hmm. yeah. so, adrenochrome yeah and uh i i just want to think now uh there was so there is Rakvera slaughterhouse, and the, you told you corrected me. You said, "Don't worry about Rakvera. There is that other slaughterhouse where they slaughter a thousand animals a day." And and I was absolutely shocked when I heard this figure because they take all the animals from the Baltic nations to that lo location, and uh, it is it's just unbelievable. So the, uh, the the cow is kept in the milk machine. Uh, throughout the day through the machines, yeah? But they don't, they live in a, in the farm, it's not, a, how to say that, uh, it's like a closed area, you don't have automatic uh, milking machines and they, um, um, they feed them with like some sweet, uh, sweet uh, food, just to cow to make uh, like habit to go to, for milking after time after time. She went there for food, she, she doesn't go there for milking, but they just uh, trained, trained to do that. And of course they give a lot of sugars, um, um, propylene glycol is one of part of that and many, many other. So they, they get uh, milk uh, producing very high, but of course it kills the livers. So it's, it's crazy. Uh, for liver to produce so many protein to, to pro produce so much milk. So yeah. I used to cows normal living time is like 10 years, but nowadays they're like uh, three, four, five years, and this, this is it. No more, no more. And they separate the calf immediately after birth from the mother. Yes, it's like. Uh, and straight maybe, to slaughter. Yeah, might be that. that uh, straight to. It. The calves, uh, no, not to slaughter, because, but they are collecting uh, calves also, and that there is a different uh, business. And some of them never seen the daylight. They never daylight, see... never green grass, never. Yeah, what? it's uh, I think like 99% of this milk and the dairy products is produced milk from milk that uh, the cow haven't seen the green grass never in its life. Wow. Yeah, it's tragedy. Thank you, Jana. Thank you so much, and, and God bless. Loeksin teile ette nüüd ühe kirja ja seletaksin, mis toimub Eestis. Petri saatis mulle sõnumi nädala aega tagasi, kus piinatakse tuhandeid naisi ja kabalas tuhandeid lapsi. Elan väga lähedale sellele kohale, kus te filminud olete. Samas ka minu kodule on üks neist hoonetest väga lähedal. Ainult jõgi on vahel ja näeme muretult seda hoonet ja kuuleme lastega tihti neid karjeid. Suvel, kui on aknad lahti nii ööd, kui ka päevad, on minu vanim laps mind pidevalt ülesse ajanud, ülesse ajanud. Kes ja tööd, kuna on endast väljas, sest õues üle jõe põllult kostub häda kisa. Endal on ka tihti süda nii rahutu, kui isegi sellest hoones kostab läbi kinnise toa akna neid karjeid. Olen isegi mõnel korral kirjutanud inimestele, kes on sellega seotud, et kas juhtus midagi sel ajal, et süda valutas nii jubedalt nende häete peale. Ära näe vaeva, seal on eriline sort inimesi pukki otsas.